Here's another video from uh, Blue Green Municipal on the Super Cover HD Composite uh, FRP Manhole Ring and Cover Unit. Uh, Today is going to be an instructional video to discuss the stainless steel locking latch mechanism and how to properly install it and how to properly remove it if you do not want that feature of the product. So all of our products um, that are internal are metal. Uh, these are stainless steel and these are 316 stainless. So each product will come with this. So if you do not want this, it will simply be removed out in the field. And we're going to go over how to install and how to properly uninstall the uh, uh, locking latch mechanism. We're also going to go over the functionality of how to use the locking latch mechanism. So you have a key and a key way, and you have a tongue and groove where it only goes in one way. And so once you twist it, it puts positive pressure to turn the locking latch in any direction. So in the closed position, the locking latch will be at this position right here. And then when you insert the key, you'll merely do about a 90 degree turn that will put it to where it's in a position where it no longer hits the bottom side of the, uh, the ring. Therefore, it's free and clear. And at that point, you can remove the key. But if you want to open the unit and stay it in the lock position, this, this uh, key actually becomes a handle as well. It's a dual functioning key and handle where you can merely just open it. So what we're going to do here is pretty much go through the motions to show you how to uh, properly do that. So there's a rubber bung with every single unit. And to remove the rubber bung, you can use a screwdriver, a pocket knife, pretty much anything a guy out in the field is going to have. This helps el eliminate even more I and I infiltration that gets into the sewer system. So even this little tiny rubber plug actually saves you a lot in uh, infiltration of stormwater. So it merely just goes back in its hole anytime you're done. And it's very pressure tight to where it will sit in there and seat very well. So to remove it, again, a flathead screwdriver, a pocket knife, or any, anything you can get in there to remove it. So once you, once you have that uh, rubber bung, you have access to this hole. If you do not want the lock, this is the exact uh, situation that you want where you can use a pickaxe, a pick tool, or anything that you can stick in this hole to gain leverage to open the, uh, the, uh, the cover to get leverage on it, much like you would with a standard pickaxe. You'd merely just put it in the hole and then lift up and then open the unit. So now we've exposed, we've exposed the underside of the unit so I can go through the installation.